Okay, next drawing challenges. You've got the gorilla. This one's a challenge. Okay, this one is quite a difficult one. Again, you know, start with your light pencil. Think about, I would even draw that and draw that onto my a little cross and draw that onto my image as well. So I can see how far across the different aspects are coming. So I can try and proportionally lay this out correctly because it doesn't fill the whole page. Some of the shape of the gorilla's mouth as well isn't actually um, made by any lines. It's just built up of the hatching. So this bit along here where there's sort of hairs coming across, there's not actually the shaping done with a line. It's built purely out of hatching. And that's how that's created. Okay, get the general shapes in, usual starting points, and then build it up. Not as quick as that, that's too quick. Be more careful. Really go dark into the nostril sort of area. You've got some dark lines, you've got some light lines. So trying to get that level of pressure just right. Okay, take your time. These are difficult drawings to do really well. You can rush them, but you won't get the effect that you're looking for, and so on and so forth. Okay, try and look thickness of line as well, the mouth's a little bit thicker for that dark marks, all these little dots, lines, what's the angle of the lines, try and be as accurate as you can, and so on, you'll build that up. <coughs> Next image is the talon, which is pure heavy metal. And again, think about the general shape that you're going in. You're kind of coming around. Uh, how close to the edge of the bit is it? Closer than I'm doing it there, so I need to bring that across. And just try initially to just try and get these talons, these sort of fingers, in the correct location. Okay, and then you're going to do some rubbing out. This one actually is okay to do in pen. This one actually works quite nicely finished in pen. So if you want to do your planning in pencil, you can then build it up. Pen. Now, you see how quick I went there? That is how you end up with rubbish mark making. Keep the pencil nice and straight, uh, nice and sharp, and look really carefully at where this needs to go. Okay, you need to build up these little bits, there's little double lines, you know, where do they go, what's the, the shading follows around the claw, so on and so forth, okay? And you've got these lovely little scales as well to draw on. Um, it's deceptively difficult that one, but have a go. But think about where it lands within the box, okay? What's my gapping to here? What's my gapping to here? What's my gapping to here? What shape does this make in the middle? Okay, this is what we call the negative space, so the space in between this claw. I need to drop that claw down lower, it's too close. Okay, and I'm looking at this shape in the middle. What shape is that? That's the negative space. Am I accurate on that? That'll be really pivotal. Same here. What do I need that shape to be like? That will help my accuracy immeasurably. Okay.